What's good? The infamous Rurock Atlas is back. Is it any good though? Luna. Money work. If you have yet to hear the name Rurock or any of their marketing, then you must be living under a rock because they've been making waves after waves for the past couple of years, grinding their way through the helmet market. And I'm very excited to talk about this iteration, the Ruach Atlas 4.0. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, new subscriber, and let me know if you'll be picking up the Atlas 4.0. Let's build some of the layers back. We're gonna tackle some safety concerns that people had in their past iterations. The Atlas 4.0 is one of the first helmet to pass the ECE 22.06 certification and exceeds it by 20%. That means they're very concerned about your safety and they wanna make sure people are happy with the quality and fit and finish of the helmets that they're getting and they do not feel a little bit sideways about how safe the helmet is. There were a lot of feedbacks, a lot of people complained about certain aspects of the helmet. They made that their top priority on this iteration. So far from what I'm seeing, it shows. The new re-engineer headliner incorporates Rion technology that's somewhat some space age NASA level of, <laughs> of protection that we're seeing here, guys. And to kind of break it down, I want to kind of give you an idea what the Rion tech does. It's basically nice and soft and plush while it's in the lid without any problem. But once there's an impact, it automatically reacts. So it's a reactionary kind of material that helps disperse energy upon a crash. So very cool to see this tech. It's somewhat very similar to what you would see on a 6D helmet, more slimline version of that same technology that help rotate the mass once you've had an impact. Really like seeing new tech. That way they can inspire other companies to do the same or do better. So that's a great step forward. It has an all new three part multi-density EPS foam liner to increase the performance of safety. That means they've taken a lot of the feedback and constructive criticism deeply to make sure that the helmet is extremely safe and to avoid repeated criticism for past issues they might've had. Altogether guys, we're seeing a speedy growth of a helmet company that's looking to make waves really quickly and making changes or making iterations yearly to make sure they meet those criteria and exceeds them really like that. And it keeps on going and it keeps on going. All right. They have fully re-engineered the headliner and the cheek pads. That's going to give you added comfort. And it also heavily, heavily improved the acoustics when you're on the road. That was one of the biggest things that Rurock struggled with on the third iteration and the second iteration, that loudness, a lot of people have made it very clear that it was a big area of opportunity and they took that to the heart. They re-engineered the entire thing. You have Rion in there for protection, a lot more padding. You have multi-density uh, foam in the face, that way it's a lot more snug to you. And they even manage to allow you to unzip the cheek foams, that way you can wash the moisture wicking pads to get them nice and clean. So they've done a lot of approach above and beyond. You can unzip it just to take care of it and maintain it long term. The noise, the noise, the noise. Everybody made it clear that this was a big area of opportunity for Rural Rock and they got hurt a little bit. It was in the feels. So much so, they've decided to make a big difference in how the helmet operates when it's out in public when you're riding when you pass a certain speed they added sound dampening inserts around the air structure that will reduce amount of noise level by 57 percent that is a huge deal comparison to what it was prior not comparison to other helmets i'm talking about to 2.0 3.0 and to now 50 57 percent drop in the noise ratio is a huge deal but I think it's a great move by Rura. The carbon fiber shell has been revised for better airflow. You have access to a brow vent now that can be open and closed. Also the vent in the very front of your face could be open or closed as well. That way you're gonna have 30% more airflow when you are out there on the road. And you do have the option to open it or close it based on how much wind and sound is coming in. Again, these flexibilities goes a long way Prior to this iteration, they had some other opening at the very top of the helmet, which they've been removed probably for the better. 
not just for styling and looks, it's for functionality. So you're going to get less vibration. That way you can ride a lot longer without any fatigue or any buffeting when you're head checking. So it's a lot more smoother all around with the, with the helmet itself. So very interesting approach as well. Again, I keep on repeating this, but they are listening and making these changes. And I think this is a very good approach, not just for Rural Rock, for other major players, major key players that are in the market to see what a company like that, that's very young, that's doing and that's willing to listen and make some adjustment. I think that in itself is a big deal, not just for Rural Rock, for us. Because when these guys compete, we win. Now, you guys know this would not be a clutch first video if, you, if I did not give you my personal opinion and take about what we're talking about. Now, Rural Rock is fairly new to the business. I would say just helmet for motorcycling, but they've been in the game for other products that are very successful on the market. They are doing a very good job taking all types of constructive feedback by consumers, by reviewers, by people that's interested in the product to improve it. Where I think they dropped the ball is that they might have preemptively released their initial helmets way too early because some of these things could have been remedied very early on where it wouldn't have to be uh, an area of opportunity. Most heritage product that are on the market, they do enough testing where they kind of know. It almost felt as if the first few helmets were prototypes or they were beta versions where people got to test for them and then got all the feedback. And now the 4.0 is starting to feel like this is exactly what they should have gotten from the very jump. Also, at the price point that this helmet's coming in, with them releasing a yearly iteration with improvements, which I truly appreciate, it's starting to feel like they're becoming the iPhones of helmets. We're talking about five to six hundred dollars every year. If you want that new colorway, that's perfectly fine. If you want the new designs, that's perfectly fine. But having to purchase a brand new helmet because of features that weren't on there initially. That's a little tough to swallow, in my opinion. For a different colorway, I can see it. That's basically a want or a need. But getting better protection or getting better cheek pads, being able to stop airflow, better ventilation, these things should have been essential to a premium helmet that's coming in at that price point. That's my biggest feedback. Now, that, does, that, that doesn't mean that it's bad that they, they've released four iteration of the helmet. Because those iterations has shown that these guys could learn and grow at a rapid rate and make changes and make you and I happy. All right, here we go. So you've made it all the way through the entire video. I appreciate you guys watching the entire thing all the way through. Don't be that guy. Don't start it and stop it. Watch the whole thing all the way through. Smash that thumbs up. Helps with the algorithm. I truly appreciate it. As you guys know, this is a new format I'm working with on the channel in my home office where we talk about any motorcycle news, uh, gear, gadgets, or whatever it may be. We're going to touch base about it on here. We're also going to be doing live streams on Sundays, shorts, midweek, also moto vlogging. So that's bringing up that frequency almost up to four uploads. So if you guys appreciate that, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Money world. Yeah. El mundo